Daniel, you're very emotional. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what's going through your mind at the moment? Obviously, this is the first UFC win here for you in Stockholm, Sweden. How much does this mean to you? I mean, I'm, I'm uh, right now for a moment. I'm really emotional. I, I mean, the last couple of, I mean, like two year, last month, I have uh, have a really hard time for me. You know, not. I mean, how I feel for everything. For me, it's not about that, that I win this guy. Or, it's, I mean, the goal I have, like, what I mean, like, I work really hard for this. I, I have leave a lot of things to the side just to work for that. So I work really hard. I, I have been alone a uh, 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 really long time uh, by myself. And I mean, I have, of course, have people around me, my family, my wife, my Hannah also here. Uh, yeah, she have worked, it worked, it helped me a lot, you know. Someone to have been with my side, and she, p people don't understand. I mean, in this sport is a little bit like that. If you win, you make it to a hero. If you just lose, it can be like on point or um, small, more marginal people. They, they, they. I mean, you, you be alone. And no one can care about you. But right now, I feel really good. I work so hard for this. You know, really, really hard. <laughs> Is it a sense so, of relief? What? Is it a sense of relief that you feel? Yeah, I mean, it's something really. I fight since I was like a child, you know, 15 years old, so. <laughs> but forget everything. I'm so happy right now. Just speak about the positive right now. I win. That's the most important. Happy and, and, and I want to thank, first of all, Jesus Christ, God. Then also, thank you so much for the UFC that you believe in me so much. Honestly, I'm not thank Sean Shelby. Uh, Dana White and all of those, Mick Maynard, all of those in UFC, the matchmakers, Sean Shelby, especially uh, this guy, he's a hero for me. He believe in me, give me this, these chances, you know. If you do one for me, I do twice for you. So I try to do the best for this company. I give my heart for that. So I put on a show, I promise UFC, I will do the best what I can. I love you. And how did you feel making that walk out, uh, hearing the crowd behind you? And and did you feel pressure coming into this? Obviously, I, 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 behind for, you. For, for this, you know, I don't care so much for. I know I, I, I believe everything to the side. I believe the pressure. I leave everything to the side. I just focus on that fight. People say me, ah, I want to fight in this, and this. I don't care. For this fight, I just focus on that. For, or before when I go into the fight, I mean. The other fight, I just walk, uh, I'm just gonna go do like I do before, before, normal fight. But this was something special for me. I know people, they have pride for me, they have, everyone have do so much for me. So I work really hard for this. Yeah. So, I, I want to thank all of you guys for this. I mean, I'm really happy for that. Thank you so much. And what did you think about your uh, your opponent? He was making his UFC debut. Uh, he's been a, a champion in three other promotions in Asia. Uh, what did you think about his performance? And, and was there anything that maybe surprised you in there? I know he, he's a. I mean, I, I I can't say he's bad or this. All in the UFC, the matchmakers they are professional. They know if they sign a guy or they leave a guy in the UFC. That this uh, supposed to be a good guy, so I know this guy. He come to win, come to fight. He have a dream, a goals like I have. So, I mean, we work really hard for that. I know he's a really good. I know the other in the UFC. All of these guys are good. No one is bad. So you can't, I mean, choose opponent or this. You have to just, what can I say? Work hard, work hard. And I promise all. I tell all of you guys. I want to say, if you have a dream. Work for your dream. Nothing's gonna come for free. You have to work, 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 work really hard. And if you do that, believe in yourself. Don't listen to some other. Do what you want to do. And seeing the other Swedish fighters getting their win tonight, did that give you any extra motivation behind you? Honestly, I just at that this time I just focus on myself. Mm -hmm. I don't see so much of the other guys. You know. Focus on myself. Just focus on myself, you know, just uh, because I know it's my time now. I have to just focus on myself. It's my time. Do the best what I can do. So, yeah. Then the timer is back, and I promise all of you, you will see a new version of me. I'm, I'm healed. I just, 
I have to go now for vacation, holiday, enjoy a little bit for my time by myself. I go with my family, my wife, and yeah, yeah, I, I earn it. So what about the time after your vacation? You have to announce where you live in Copenhagen. Would, well, you like to, would you like to fight again in Scandinavia? I don't focus on that right now. Just focus on this moment now. I would just go take a nice shower. I want to go enjoy myself with my family. I want to just have a nice chill, relaxed drink or something like that and enjoy a little bit by myself. You know, I do. I have I have go from camp to camp to camp. You know, I work really hard. I was in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Jackson. I was like one and a half month by myself. I went there. I trained really hard, really hard. You know, thinking all the time. Oh. What's gonna do in my life? People they say, ah, if he lose, he gonna be cut, he gonna do this and this. Don't listen to people, just on yourself. That the new version of Daniel now. You don't give a shit, you know. People say, ah, I do this, this. Just care of yourself. Focus on yourself. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. Daniel, uh, Spanish